building. Anybody come in the building? Oh five vote, oh five vote. Come in the building. Come in the building. We at. Make sure uh, everything is Gucci. What's good? Let me know if I'm good. Y'all can hear me. Let me know if y'all can hear me. Let me know if y'all can hear me. 050. You on here early. What's good? Early. Be killing these niggas at work, man. I be killing <laughs> Yo, salute. Top of the morning. Top of the morning. Salute. To Tiger Upper Podcast. If you didn't know me and Tiger, we did a little, a little crazy episode, man. Y'all know I was at work. I was at work, so I couldn't like be there, you know what I'm saying? And and get really get shit lit. But I tore that nigga up. G5. Yo, salute to him, man. Salute to G5. G5 Reels, man. He tried his best. I just boom, 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 boom. Facts. Y'all already know. I, yo, listen. I hold this 050 shit on my back, nigga. I hold this dark side on my big back. I see that big back, nigga. Fuck wrong with these niggas. What's wrong with these niggas? Digger, what's popping? Cola James, love you. Next stop. Please clear standing doors. Next stop is Utica Avenue. Killing niggas. It's over. It's over. You can't come back from that. You can't. Niggas can't come back from that. Next stop is Utica Avenue. Nigga can't even argue with me. Yo, no, no exaggerations, right? After I said that, it was it got dark. It got dark. It got dark. Salute to everybody who's in attendance, man. Crown Heights definitely in the building. Yeah, I killed them. I killed them like. Yo, what's Bino, up? What's Papino? Zeke Black's in the building. Nah, I'm Yo, on the phone call. Did you see what Cassie. happened? I got some Cassie information. No, no, some... we gonna, all right, we gonna put that to the side. What happened? Viral, viral, killing like. All right, Ooh. check this out. Talk if y'all don't know, who, listen. If y'all don't know who Upper Soul is, oh yeah, that's that's one of um one of uh I could say uh China Mac. He like a Korean nigga. He got a big platform. That's yes, my boy. Yes. Asian His brother. Good Tiger. Asian brother. His name is Tiger. Yes. He have a lot of, you know, go check his, his podcast out. Salute to Tiger. Salute to Tiger. But he had G5. Me and G5, nigga. Next stop is No Strength Avenue. Standing, closing doors, nigga. You can't play That's with up. me. Full yo, line, I told him. Yo, yo, I told him. Right, this was this what I told him. Y'all gonna see the show. I can't say everything because he gonna put pieces up. But one in one of the show, I said, "Yo, this is what I want you to do." Since I, right, I'm at work. I be killing YouTube at work. Look, I'm at work. I'm working. Yeah, that, that, facts, facts. Yeah, all right, he getting on my sweater. And he get all right. Hold on, hold on. No, hold I, on. I got the receipt. I got the receipt. I got the receipt. Hold on. What receipt? What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I got what it. What you talking about? Right here. Hold on, hold on. I killed him. Right, you killed him. Listen. Yeah, I have to put the thing away. 
Yeah, um, show the show the people. I killed them. I wish he was here. I smacked that nigga. Yo, listen, you got that nigga fuck out of it. Nah, 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 I want to tell you something. Nah, it's the real shit. Fuck all the games, you hear me? Yeah, it's real, real. The real shit, the real shit. I respect this shit, so I'm, Can I say something to you on some real man shit? Yeah, bro. Just don't say no rocky shit. Where you coming? I'm trying to be real with you. Just don't say no rocky shit, bro. Go ahead. I'm not. Bro. Can I get a minute? To give you, you to give you your respect, though. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, bro. Go ahead, talk, bro. Go ahead, talk. Stand clear. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop. He's shooting. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, nigga. Yo, yo, you hear me? You know what? When I came up, because I said, listen, nigga. Listen, I'm at work right now. Like, I like to show and prove. Since I'm the broke nigga, I don't have nothing. I want you to get up right now on the live. All the people watching, get up. And walk to your vehicle and get in. Open your vehicle because I know you your shit don't got it. You don't got press button. Boop, boop. Your shit, your shit don't got that. So you gotta stick your key in it and all that. Walk to your vehicle and let the world see what you pushing. And what I would do, I told him, I said, you know something? Today I'm in a beautiful Porsche. Not right now, right now, I'm back in the Kia. I'm in the yesterday, yeah. I'm 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 in a beautiful Porsche. And I'll show you. But first, I want you to jump in your shit, bitch. That's what I want. I want to see you get in your vehicle. Open your vehicle. Yes. Since China the bum. No, he didn't want to do that. He didn't want to do that. He didn't want to do that. See, one thing about me, call me what you want. But don't call me broke, nigga. The fuck is wrong with you niggas? Yeah, I wear this, nigga. I'm at work. You in the street with an old-ass 93 Gucci outfit on. <laughs> if I was, if, listen, if I was with him, if I was with him, I would have pulled up. I told him on live, walk to your vehicle right now while we on live. Walk to your vehicle. And then once you walk to your vehicle, everybody see, the crowd going to say, oh, shit. You jumped in the Benz. Whatever vehicle you got, Benz, Honda Accord, oh shit. And chain the brim with a guy. And I'm at work. I'd have walked up out of my shit. And I'd have went in. I'd have went in. And you would have seen my shit look like a family car. Kid seat, everything, nigga, in a Porsche. You bum ass nigga. You can't fuck with me. So I had to kill him. You had to kill him. I had to kill him. Next stop. Next stop on the A train. On the A train. Stand clear, closing doors. Doo doo. Doo doo. It's Utica Avenue. Shout out to Big Dice, you heard? You know you are. with these niggas, man? No combo. Yo, I was on the phone line with somebody that was, with an individual that was on the Bad Boy Reunion Tour. And I asked him, who? My, my, I, I was on the phone line with somebody who was on the Bad Boy Reunion Tour. That was on the, the last big tour that Puffy did. And um, he was saying some stories. He told me some things. He said that okay. in Cassie, 40% of the time, a lot of times Cassie seemed shy. There was, nothing, there was nothing crazy between her and Puff. But she said that you could tell, like, whatever was going on between them, he might have told her. Like, like, like she was on quiet time. She was on humble time. She was, everybody was on go and she was more or less like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's like wife, you know, you know, he might have put the clamps on her. And right. he also told me something about French in Dallas. He said that French went into a shower room with two other individuals. Some dudes think he was getting right. And some dudes think he was getting real right. Some people Who, think- French that, Montana? Yeah, in Dallas. When they, when they did the show in Dallas, French Kardashian, French yeah, Kardashian. Yeah, yeah. He went and they said he went in the locker room with Hall, with another individual, and it, the individual thought assumed they were just getting right. You know what I'm saying? Facts. A couple of other individuals there were saying the sexual contact, the sex, the, the sex thing. Um, they also said that they didn't see Gene Deal or the Daryl Barnes guy people on the tour. So they wasn't around that. They wasn't around. They said they wasn't on that tour. Like they wasn't around Puffy. Puffy did throw a party at his house when they went to LA. 
and there was no Daryl Barnes there. There was no Black Rob went there though. Black Rob was invited. Um, what else he said? He said that there was a fight at the garden. I guess with Kuda Love. Kuda Love that I guess he he, he made friends. They said when he pulled up to the garden, it was his hall of niggas they fighting against the locks. Some the, I guess some of the locks team they was shaking out with Kuda Love peoples in the locker room. You know what I'm saying? And at, at the garden though, you know what I'm saying? So this is this, this is the Cassie update from somebody who was physically on the whole tour from the rehearsals to the last city. You know what I'm saying? Because he was managing an, an, an uh, uh, artist. And this is what he told me. He said, there was a massive fight in the, in the locker room. So if y'all was VIP, like some of you dudes say, then y'all would know that there was a big fight with Kuda Love. Kuda Love used to own, he used to manage Mace, but then he also was part of Nelly. When Nelly first popped off, the whole St. Lunatics, shout out to Kuda Love, Harlem. You know what I'm saying? Definitely good morning, America. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, so that's an update. So French Kardashian, was that the tell? French Kardashian. <laughs> Go ahead. What was you doing in the, the shower team. room, bro? <laughs> what was you doing in the shower room, French? With two other individuals. I hope you say drugs. Be honest. You know what I'm saying? Quite allegedly. I hope you say you sipping some cocaine or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is the right. drug moment. You get to say drug addiction. Um, that was the only actual question. There's some things going surfacing on the on the on the dark side of the internet. That Cassie might be cooperating with the feds. That's listen. What you think about? Uh, that? I think I think No Jumper or one of them put a post up. You know, saying that Cassie is fucking with the feds. Do I believe it? It's a possibility. I'm not saying it, it ain't. Be. It could be. It could be. It could be. be. And, and 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 like I said, I won't be surprised. Cassie and what's the other bitch he was fucking with? Young Ma. Yeah, yeah, Young yeah, Miami. They teamed up. Young and May, they teamed up to bring that nigga down. Yes, yes. Cause why? If 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 she was fucking with Puff, why is she all happy? The bitch is happy. She's a hood rich happy bitch yes. right now. How you gonna be happy to oh. take a nigga down? So old, somebody you love. Know. Oh. She she was on a yacht yesterday. Yes. She was on a yacht shaking her ass. He paint no no. <laughs> He, he got to keep somebody happy. Listen, I that's he, a fact. not to go against the grain. That's what he need her not to do, not to go against the grain. Now, I'm going to tell you some stuff. They said that guy Cruz, the guy that Puff, that, that, that 50 Cent was saying with that, that, that was in a relationship with Puff mm -hmm. before, they said that he was on a tour. And he used to look spaced out. He said that Puff fired him a couple of times, but he was on the Bad Boy Reunion tour. And some people said, if they thought Puff was having sex with somebody, they would have thought him, the Cruz guy. That 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 he was on the tour. They think Puff, the way he was walking around, spaced out like he was high all day. Cola said, Cola said, Cassie gave them pictures and stuff. Oh, Cola no, Cola no, boo. Cassie gave them pictures and stuff. That's crazy. James Cruz, yes, yes, he said James Cruz, Cruz on the tour, walking around, I, walking around, spaced out like he was on something. Actually. The three that went to the shower was James Cruz, Hall. Who the fuck is James Cruz? I don't even know he, who that is. He's that with bad boy. He's like a manager. He was like a manager. Oh. Um, so that's just that's on the rumor mill. That's on the rumor. We had to say there's a portion to show the rumor mill, but he this is somebody who's physically on the tour who's seen these things. And y'all know what happened in Dallas. Y'all know who went in that shower room together. Y'all know what happened at the garden with Kuda Love and you know, the locks and the rest of them. You know what I'm saying? I gotta say a let that was somebody get caught up. But that's just on the rumor mill. Now, mind you, I'm gonna ask you a question, bro. If 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 Cassie's cooperating with the feds, do you think she's trying to keep it tall because she just probably got some money from the guy? So, do you? But, but the settlement is over with. So so she got the money. So why not get more money? That's how she feels. She's gonna make more money on exposing yes. him now. Yes. You know how much a video. Uh, P. Diddy getting fucked or fucking somebody. You know how much money that would cost? How many, you know how much money TMZ would give a nigga? Facts, facts. You're right. Picture facts. all this. Picture all the the federal shit that's, that Cassie got on her phone. Mm. That's money mm. right there. Personal. That's just personal pictures. And personal. Folks. She probably hit the nigga with the dildo. Oh, she got all that. It's over. All them videos. 
Yeah, yes. For yes, sure, yes, for sure, yes, we know yes. the fans. Listen, for sure, we know the fans got the videos because that was the first thing they did when they came in the they house. They did the bag, the bag of videos. Not the bag of tricks, but the bag yeah, of videos. Yeah, the bag of videos. Now, but that shit is crazy, yeah. though. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm, so, I'm going to be honest yes. with you. Like, when you with these bitches, especially yes. celebrities, right? And yes. this is for regular niggas. We will be with these bitches, right? And then once shit get dark, it gets dark. Bitch, act like you never even fucked up. Bitch will, yeah. Bitch will yeah. take your so yeah. Bitch, send yes. you to jail. Listen, we're all. A, I love you. You my husband. We're all at that. Once yes. a bitch get mad, and there's money involved, it's over. It's you done seen it. I'm gonna tell y'all something. If you rich or get rich, it's best. Listen, yes. don't cuff nothing. Don't cut nothing. Fuck you, I love bitch. Southern Get Bell. out of the way. Because it seems I, I like, love Bell. Yes. It seems like every... It's, see, we always... No, I ain't talking about... Salute to Southern Bell. But relationships, yeah. how I see it is... We would do four or five years. I love, I love, I love. But once that breakup... You act like, bitch, you've been telling me for 20 years you love me. What what happened? Oh, what One mistake or, <laughs> like, shit is down the hill. It gets real yeah, dark, yeah. bitch. Come on, bitch got you going to court. Yes. Bitch doing the shit that bitches do. Niggas don't do that. One thing about a nigga, even if we hurt, if you, all right, bitch, I'm up out of here. Yes. Real nigga, I'm up out of here. All right, bitch, you won. I'm not doing the court thing. I'm not trying to fuck your life up. I'm not trying to fuck your job up. Nothing. A female? <laughs> Shout to Brownsville. He's hard. That you right. A female? Uh, yes. Let you do a female. Any, I don't give a fuck who she is. It Once crazy, she get bro. dick from another nigga, that's yeah, his dick is bigger, thicker, longer, no, strokes is better, strokes is better, he playing footsies with the bitch, yeah, bitch, put that nigga on child support, yeah, bitch, that nigga's a millionaire, yeah, bitch, we need to, oh, it's over, it's dark, bitch in court, I fuck you, nigga, I, oh, yeah, bitch gonna wow you up, that's why I tell y'all, money is the devil, money is love, y'all out here chasing bitches, I'm out here chasing money. Because once it ain't no money, the bitches ain't going to be there. Yes. That's a fact. Yeah. Now, you know what? You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, it's deep. Somebody wrote a comment. Um, Desiree Coco Dior. I need y'all to tell me if y'all think Diddy, I guess, is guilty or whatever. Me, per se, if you steal a bag of potatoes, say it's a million dollars in the city, but you steal a T-shirt out my room, you a thief to me. I don't pick and choose the... The, the 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 item. So if Puff did say it's twenty things that that was done, but he did one of those twenty disastrous things in that category, then he's, he's he should be treated as such. It may not be as harsh, but the the consequences are the same. If you you steal from me, I'm gonna treat you like a thief. If you took if you took a dollar out of my pocket, you know what I'm saying? Compared to a thousand dollars, there's no pick and choose here. So that's just what I'm right. that that's what I think. Now, what do you think, China? I need y'all to tell me if y'all think that Diddy did it or he's guilty or whatever the case may be. Looking at this whole thing, is he guilty for being a mook and committing mook activities? Yes. We can't deny that. He's a mook. We can't deny that. But are we going to say there's things in there that's been a little bit exaggerated? Of it's course. a big possibility. You already know it's going to be things that they're going to blow. Or Listen, I'm going to be real with you. People making it seem like China saying he fucked everybody. And it, it's a big possibility. See, this is the thing. It's a possibility he fucked everybody in the industry. Yes. Do I know? I don't know. But I know from the tabloids and what's going on and people talking and people who was in them ditty parties as a man. Yes. If I was at a Diddy party for the first time and I see men on men, I'm a bust a move like Denzel. You see what Denzel Washington said? Yes. Denzel Washington said, I can't do a, a, a Diddy party. When I pulled up, I had to rewind 
and get up mm-hmm. out of there. Mm-hmm. These niggas talking about, you got LeBron James talking about he went to Diddy Party oh. multiple, multiple times. So you seen men on men multiple times. The first time, Nick, first of all, let's get to this. Niggas is celebrity, so niggas already know who's who is Mookings and who ain't. So if I'm a celebrity and I went through and niggas like, yo, China, listen, Diddy Party be popping, but it be some Mook activity shit going on. I will never be there. That ain't me. What, what I'm going to this party for? To, to what? It just ain't happening. It don't fit me. It don't fit me in, in, in my type of life. Now, if a nigga a mook and he what they call is this new shit out now, they call it trisexuals. They try everything. Yes. Yes. Y'all never heard of that? It's new niggas. Trisexuals. Oh yeah, I ain't gay. I just tried it. Yes. Extra glee sauce. Get extra glee sauce. Nigga tell yes. you I'm a trisexual. I'm not a mook. I'm not a dragon. I'm a trisexual. Extra glee sauce. Extra. Hey, go your man, Cuba Good. Uh, even females. I told a female bitch, right? You know me, I'm blatant. So I'm talking to this bitch. I'm like, she like, yo, I like girls too. I said, you like girls, so that means you a trisexual. She said, what? I'm not a trisexual. I said, she said, I said, you're gay. She said, I ain't gay. It's cool for girls to play with girls. I said, bitch, you're gay, bitch. You're gay and retarded. You don't know. You're, you're deaf, dumb, and blind. You're deaf, dumb, and blind. Not saying that I never, Shoot you know, the I never. blood in the building. Shout out to South Central Jamaica. Yeah, man, it's crazy. Yo, yo, you know what's crazy? It's just like um, Little Roddy's lawsuit with against um, Cuba Gooden Jr. Like, son, that's a dub, my nigga. Like, you're supposed to put hands and feet on him. Fondle you. When you get fondled, Fonzarelli, when somebody fondles you, that's not that's not a court issue. That's a personal issue. You know what I'm saying? Like, you like. All that other stuff you're talking about, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you say that Puff basically sent the match to fill you up, and you hugged up on him on the couch. That's weird. So when when did Cuba Gooden found you? Before or after the, the picture you took with him? <laughs> the yacht was supposed to turn. But you could, you could look and see Cuba Gooden <laughs> got sausages in his in his in his thong. That nigga looked weird. <laughs> yeah, he's a sick human good. Human good. He looks like he plays around. Yeah, and I'm yeah. not. Listen, I'm not mad at Cuba Gooding. Why should we be mad at Cuba Gooding? Cuba Gooding never stated he was against them. Yeah, he never stated he a cute. He he's a he's a, a street nigga. So Cuban Gooding, Gooding, he get a pass. I'm not mad at you. I don't even try to like go on Cuban Goody because that's what he like. He like men. He's a he's he's a mook. But Diddy, he's a Sam. He's a Sam. Yeah, that's and right. you never seen a uh, uh, Cuba Cuba Del Gooden disrespect real niggas. We seen we seen Diddy disrespect real niggas. <laughs> we seen we seen fabulous. And, 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 and Fabulous and Jada Kiss talk about they real niggas and let Diddy treat them like a bitch. Party, right. come party with me. Come jump on my leg. Oh, let me bitch. play with your thing. What's wrong with that? It's crazy. It's crazy out here. Yo, it's so crazy. It's so, it's so crazy, right? Because it's like... Puff been doing this for years. We, we, we were talking about, remember Uptown Records? We had McGruff. We had Lou, Lou, Lou Sean come out of Brooklyn. You know that, you know, when he was an executive at Uptown, that didn't just start that bad boy. Remember, he was an executive at Uptown Records. So that transferred over to this bad boy. But let's talk about the Uptown Record days. Oh, Kevin yeah. D, I want to Monifa. I want to say Sean. one thing. I want to say one thing. And this go to Gilly and Wallow, right? Yesterday, I think yesterday's show, I was on the Gilly, Gilly and Wallow. At, well, Gilly, I was on him. Yeah. 
Pause. No dick. As a man, we I got to take that back. Salute the Gilly. Okay. Salute the Gilly. Salute to them. I don't... Yo, you know how the world works in ways that you... Somebody hit me in the DM and they sent me something. An old mm -hmm. show, I think, or something. I didn't look at the, the time of the show. Where Gilly actually told Meek and all of them, he don't want them around. They are mooks. This before this even happened, he violated me. Mm. I got it. Oh, matter of fact, I got to send it to you so you can see it. Gilly, with all due respect, I take that back as a man. He said something. Gilly said something about this mook shit before he did he even got for did he even got involved? Yes, yes. Flawless. I don't know that video. Did they let it hit because he was exposing? He exposed all of them. Did he and in in everything in that video? Gilly the kid. If I'm lying and dying, look it up. Look it up. He don't even fuck with with Meek Mills. Crazy. He said it. Salute the Gilly. Salute the Gilly, man. Salute the Gilly. You know what I'm saying? Salute the Philly. You know what I'm saying? Slip and that other the nigga, and the other nigga, um, what's his name? What's his name? Joe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Joe Button or whatever. Joe Button. Yeah, Joe. <laughs> Joe Joe Smoke. Button. Yeah, Joe Buttons. He, 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 it's like, you know, you know, he has a lot. To we don't know what he is. He a trisexual too. One time, I think it was a rumor out a couple of years or months ago yeah. that he himself said that he liked men and he's a trisexual. Mm. Yeah, it was a rumor. Out. I don't right. know if, he, yeah, we, I, I yeah. know it was something with some mook stuff with Joe Buttons. I know it was something. Can the chat tell me? It was something about him yeah. saying yeah. something or his Girl, I know it was something that he said. Crazy. Because, you know, he's worried about Sexy Red. Sounds a Sexy Red. But he's not talking about this Puff thing. He's worried about Mace and Cam sliding off with, 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 with strippers at the age of 17. But you're not talking about Puff. You're not. You talk about Eminem for two, three days. You talk about getting punched in the face by tax and all type of craziness. But you have not touched on this. I want you to say, oh, because it's lies, it's not no facts, but you're not touching on this. But, had, but remember, Bill Cosby, we went bananas on. It was a free pass on Bill, right? It was a free pass on, um, who's the other one? There was, there was one more. Y'all was going bananas on him. Now all of a sudden, it's Puff, and everybody getting quiet now. Even Puff wrote a statement talking about nobody got nothing to say. You can't make this up. Even he nobody said it. got nothing to say. Even he said it. Y'all niggas are so quiet. Say something. You know, you statement. know why? You know why Puff want somebody Puff want you niggas to say something so he <laughs> could show. Listen, Puff is out the closet. His name is Love, and we all know he like to give that. He, he like to pipe shit down. Shouldn't be salute. So if you say, I swear to God, I hope Rick Ross. I hope, Vicky, somebody, yeah, I hope somebody, yeah, yeah, somebody say something so so Diddy can just throw a video out there. Throw a video. That's what you gotta do. Yeah, leak it. All you gotta do is leak it, patch it somebody else, put that shit out leak there, it. get a million views. Leak it. It's not hard to leak something here, but yeah, leak leak it. It. Let, let that hit the streets. Yeah, yeah. Your man's calculated. Even he asked Where's your court? Your court. Because he's talking to them bigger platforms. Listen. I heard these niggas, they telling me, right? I want to see you niggas say. He's, he's daring y'all to throw the saints with the back. He's daring you top platform. I seen my son suck a dick this morning. Yo, you don't deal with the facts. I'm trying to wonder why. Shut up, my nigga. Go That's fight the fact. power. Go, go get pick a sign up and stand in front, in front of somebody's state capital. This is serious, bro. What's wrong with you? He's not going to sign you. You tried to suck off meat mills. He dubbed you. He ignored you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You tried to play with Tax Stone, he ignored you. Nobody gives a fuck about you. Go play with Troy Ave, man. But Nigga say, you, you know, Dre, Dre turned stop. out Eminem. <laughs> e pills, you know, you, you that's it. That's it. Like, I, I done told niggas, Dre, Dre looks like blonde a mook hair. in the face. It the is what it is. Crew, look, you know what I'm saying? He looks like a mook. We spent that old picture of Dre when he's part of world class wrecking crew. I'm. And he got those mascara on with eyelashes. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Who does that? 
know what I'm saying? He was with Yo, I didn't Scala. even know. I didn't even know Puff started off as a backup dancer. Yeah, who yeah, you, dancer. Who, backup Father dancer MC. for who? The Father MC. The Father <laughs> MC had the hottest song in America. That's the first song. Actually, that's the first song that Mary J was ever on that was a hit, was that song that she did with Father MC. When 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 there was Uptown Records, Uptown MCA, whatever the fuck they call it, that's what they blew. This is like eighty nine ninety. It was it, that it was it was far. Father MC was like one of the top rappers in the, in the country. So what about Dougie Fresh back in the day? Did they look at Dougie Fresh? Nah, oh, Dougie's a party nigga. You know, Duddy Harlem nigga because he's dancing. He see Duck Duck with him dancing niggas. He comes to the door dancing. Remember like you watch McDonald's. Remember Tyrone from McDonald's? He always had all the girls because he danced. That was Dougie Fresh, a skinny nigga with some bigger Adidas and, a, and, 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 and Jerry Curl. You know what I'm saying? He comes to the joint <laughs> dance. He just, you know what I'm saying? He didn't even want to show the work and all that. Salute, you know what I'm saying? Salute to Dougie. Salute to Dougie. Salute to Dougie, 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 Fresh. Dougie, Salute Fresh, to Dougie Fresh. Dougie Fresh is always smiling. He catch Dougie, he's dancing some way, he's smiling. He come from that generation of Harlem when niggas are superstars. They get their hands manicured, pedicures. That's their that's the language. They, they going to um, Copeland's. Spots like that, Copeland's, Hunt for Fifth and all that, jumping out uh, and for the Sylvia's and, and, and renting cars and cab generation. Shout out to Dougie, man. That Hunt 35th, Hunt 34th, Saint Nick Projects. That's, you know, Dougie came from a glorious generation. Niggas get coked up and lose their mind. I ain't never slipped coke, but I'm just telling you what it was. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of you niggas' fathers and grandfathers was on that white shit. That's Hunt a fact. Shout out to Espinard Gardens. You know all that Lennox Avenue shit. Hunt thirty nine. She shout out to rest in peace, big ass. You, you got Harlem niggas in the building too. Yeah, they they, man, they know what's going on. Come on, man. Y'all know the bad pay. I saw dancing around. Dougie coming in. The, see, Dougie was in the. Dougie was the guy that gets you the girls because every crew had a dancing nigga. But Dougie, other than dancing, he can rhyme. But he's an entertainer now. All Dougie needed was a killer. That's when he found Slick Rick. You know what I'm saying? He got the nigga that was West Indian. Oh, blood clot. Yeah, get on the mic. <laughs> and that shit works, son. Get on the mic, son. The dance is on. Where y'all at? Rooftop. SNS Club. Willie Burgers. Where you at, man? Where we at? We talk about the spots, right? Willie Burgers, SNS Club, the bed, the red door. No, no, no. Let's, let's, let's talk about it. You was outside, y'all know about this. You know, you know. This is uptown, boy. Back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This, this That's is that OG we, shit. This is where he's walking around glorious with the good uptowns on, with some, with, 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 with a nice chemical blowout, with, with the black, with the black sunglasses. Niggas said Latin, Latin, Latin quarters. Niggas said Latin quarters was popping. With them Bronx niggas is punching niggas' heads off <laughs> on the skate key. Both of them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? You had to go, you had to. Yo, son, the generation of hip hop was, was a little more different. Shout, shout out, you know. The seats is different. Big dice games on 39th Street, 40th, 41st, 42nd Street. Lennox Avenue, those, those are big dice games. Hunt 12th was crazy, bro. 1988, 89, 1990, Hunt 12th Street was a, was a lit block. They, they, this is no fair, a little bit before no fair and no fair ever. It was crazy. The, the whole 7th Avenue. My man Cato, the Cato's in the book. The, that that um, BMO's book, my man Kato's in the book. That's the individual that Pistol Pete allegedly killed on the 125th Street. That's my man Kato. That was wow. my man. That was my free man. Pistol. Been, free pistol. You know what yeah, free pistol. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Definitely, definitely. This, 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 this was the L. The side blocks was crazy. This, 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 this was the side block L in Harlem. This is, this is, that's what Jim Jones, they start that tight jeans shit. The money niggas is doing that. We just couldn't afford that shit. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas is wearing funny shoes and nice silk shirts. That was the silk shirt ever. And niggas thought they were silk. Where, where, where you think guy got their dress code from? All that high yellow jacket, butter soft leathers with the chemical blowouts. That shit, that was some Harlem pretty shit, my nigga. That wasn't no dirty Harlem. I, I ain't gonna front. Nigga. You Harlem niggas used to dress crazy, yeah, zesty son. as hell. Yeah, son, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Yo, that nice. West. Yeah. West. Harlem That's niggas West. was zesty. <laughs> Yo, I want to ask you something when it comes to Harlem shit, right? Because niggas used to argue about this. Where do Harlem start and where do it begin? Okay, Harlem to me. No, no, one no. Tenth street. No. Tenth. One tenth. One town up. Oh, I would say, because you got different parts of Harlem. You got the Sugar Hills. Put it, I want my Harlem niggas to put it in the chat. I say a where do Harlem starts a and where do it ends. A lot of niggas don't say one, a hunt tip. A lot of real Harlem niggas don't say hunt tip, homie. They, 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 
And I didn't say 105th, but that's the Upper West Side. Shout out to Douglas. Shout Somebody out to said 110th and 155th. That's yeah, what Whip Hop said. I see a lot of 110th, 155th, John. John. Oh, nigga said 105th. Nigga, see? See, nigga said 105th. The niggas say Douglas. That's been an argument for years with Harlem niggas. Yeah. That's been an argument for years. You're a bone in the building. One tenth, definitely free. G, G, I'm sorry, D G Depp is free. Yeah, she in the building. Red bone. You know what I'm saying? We see you. Um, yo, yo, I'm gonna tell you something though. On the east side, it starts on 96 Street though. It starts on 96 to Stinking Lincoln. <laughs> you know Lincoln? Yeah, the 135th and all that by Stinking Love. Lincoln Projects by Fifth Avenue. Because on yeah. Fifth Avenue, it's, it's the divide. You got Fifth Avenue east side, one side of the block, and you cross the okay. street, you're on the west side. So, like Forster, you got Taft and Forster both on Fifth Avenue, PSA 5 building. Where this, but it, there's a documentary about Baby Heck. Well, not Baby Heck, but Heck, the building he's from. You know, if you're from the hood, you know, you had to cross the street where Kingdom is at. That's on the Fifth Avenue side. Of the west side, so you got the east and west side just on the avenue. That's a, that's the only separation. You know what I'm saying? So I can live on Fifth Avenue, but I live on the east side. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? If I I can live on East 115th Street, but if I cross the street, I'm on West 115th Avenue, 115th Street. That's the Foster side. You know what I'm saying? Let me shout. Let me shout the Foster. Rest in peace, Charlie Rock from Stink Link. Rest in peace, Blow yes. Dollars. Blue definitely, Dollars definitely. Network in the building, man. Now, um, the Shower Hour podcast is in the building. It's in the building. We here, we here, we here, man. Like, like you know, you know, and how this coincided with this hip hop thing was Puff was throwing a lot of parties. A lot of people fail to realize that Puff was a party promoter. He promoted a lot of parties before he really blew as an executive. He was doing a lot of the Howard homecomings. Shout out to Hall. They was doing that. They was doing Howard homecoming. He was he was into that already. You know what I'm saying? When he, he, when he hit New York, yeah, keep in mind. His father's from the West Side. His father was getting money with the Nicky Bonds and them. So the younger generation, think about this, was was the bats, was the, 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 the you know what I'm saying? The younger generation to them is what became the hip hop scene, the dress code, the dancing. Not so much the rapper, but the MC. All that, that scene came from the generation below, like LA and them niggas. That, 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 that's, the, that's the hip hop crowd. The niggas that, and that's that's the money that Puff was really getting. Pops was getting the hustlers. The niggas that was outside going to these DJ Hollywood, going to the Fever Block parties. They started doing smoke, they angel dust through the electric boogie and shit like that. This is before the spin, but this this is what became the the hip hop portion of the streets of the, the younger generation. His father come from that. Remember, his father was getting money with the Nicky Bonds and the Frank Lucases and the and the and the, and the, and the, and the these, he was outside with these niggas. So when he passed away, you think his mother stopped being a money home? You think she gave the game up? You think she she fucked with this million dollar nigga? He got assassinated. Rest in peace, she was props. You think she said fuck the game? Nah, That's that shit ain't changed shit. He 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 lived on the good side of Mount Vernon. Let's not get that Mr. Stu. He was living in Espinal Gardens. Y'all know, of course, the street from Espinal Gardens is million dollar blocks. Million dollar blocks. If you're from Harlem, y'all know those are side blocks. Best out. NFL and the rest of them new side blocks. So I keep talking about Alpone, Rich Porter. Let's talk about the NFL niggas. Let's in peace lean on in them niggas. Let's talk about them. Let's talk about niggas that been getting millions. Them side blocks, you know what I'm saying? Those are side, that's side block. So niggas are going to the west side from the east side just to experience it, bro. Bro, I should come to the fucking Schaumburg before it got gentrified. That shit was the hood, bro. Shout out to them FEB niggas. Shout out to FTG, niggas in Lima. Fuck everybody. Fuck everybody, nigga. Shout out to the FTW niggas. My first generation niggas. Mad Jack. Jack. Niggas don't my know niggas. about FEV. Come on, Niggas son. don't know about that. From, 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 from Lehman to Forster. You know what I'm saying? Fuck everybody. You know what I'm saying? My, my GHP niggas. Kid Cole, rest in peace. Light skin in them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all had to put outside for that. Yeah. Yeah. When Charles shit was crazy. Yeah. 117 and letting Sam. That's when the whole hub was on dust. Worked on my month. Niggas was holding buses ass naked like this. Crazy. Stop. So you think about this. Puffy brought that mentality to hip hop. And, and your man, um, but Puff you know, ain't a, that's but the thing, thing is, why everybody think Diddy is a Harlem nigga? That nigga ain't even that nigga from Mount Vernon. He's from Mount Vernon. He's from Mount he's Vernon. A, so he's, he's doing weird. Where G Mac at? 
Yo, G Mac, where you at? Pull I up, know man, them man. niggas. Pull I know up. them niggas in Mount Vernon. Come on, he got Mount. Right now, Diddy is the most zestfulest. Zest if I'm not speaking fast, person. Correct me. I was outside. Media, you know what I'm, I'm not saying from Mount Vernon. It's dark. Mount Vernon. What's that? Yeah, I think the same Avenue. gang. I like that. He was saying you can say all that's over there. Now you gotta Third keep this in mind. There was a lot of bars. Who in the building? Who in the building yeah. from Mount Vernon? Whip Wop. I think Whip Wop. Definitely. Whip Wop. Whip Wop. That word. Who Put a red Money flame in here if you from Mount Vernon. Like, right, y'all niggas That's, is doing bad. Shout out to Espinard. Don't say shout out to Espinard Gardens. Now, I I'm know Whitwap will be. Oh, yeah. Whip, is Whitwap? Yeah, Whitwap from Mount Vernon. He's from Mount Vernon. You know what I'm saying? So, so, now, so now let's look at it like this, right? Let's think about what Puffy and the rest of these niggas was doing. They was bringing what was in the streets to hip hop. Mabby J singing over hip hop beats was him paying attention to the kick and pre mixtapes and the Ron G mixtapes. Yo, I got an idea for the new generation. Because we was buying the mixtapes crazy. The average hustler was running around in a Suzuki sidekick, a, a, a Jeep, an MPV, a Sterling, a Golf, a, a Volvo, blasting these mixtapes. So what Pump did was he was smart. Yo, Andre, fuck what Jonas talking about. I got an idea for a remix. The streets, the shit that they playing at the Cotton Club on 125th Street, the shit that they playing at the rooftop, the shit that they playing at the house parties, the shit that they playing at the new fever. Shout out to Fat Joe and them niggas. The, 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 those parties. And, and that's when he started to implement that. And that's why you had to remember the Jonas remix? That's Puffy's first assignment was. That, 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 the remix to come talk to me. It had hip hop beats over it. And then that Maddie J, yo, son, I'm not gonna lie to you, son. That mad, that work he did on Maddie J was official. That remix to the 411 album, that, 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 that was a street classic because all he did was put the hip hop beats behind us singing. That's the first time we heard Biggie Smalls, nigga. Craig Mack. The first time you heard them niggas. Uptown Records, Uptown MCA, man. So you okay. niggas, so y'all learning something right now. That's, that's the first album that Puffy ever really executive produced was Maddie J. Blige's 411 remix album. Now remember, before that, I'll be sure Devontae Swing and them niggas, they was controlling the musical sound at Uptown Records. I, I, I remember when I'll be sure performed at, at, at the Apollo and niggas was booming him because he couldn't sing live, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's talk about that. Who was outside for that, nigga? Who was outside for that? That's facts. Jeff Red. Jeff Red brought it to the Jeff Red brought her to the label. <laughs> yes. Jeff Red. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff Red. Jeff Red is the person who brought Mary J. Blige to yeah, the label. Yeah, 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 he brought he brought he brought he brought Mary J to the label. Oh, and he's and, from Mount Vernon. Yeah, yeah, he brought it to the label. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he got booed because he couldn't perform live. He could like I'll be sure it's probably the first niggas he did the computer work with, like to make his voice sound crisp. He put that nigga on 120. You know, the Apollo's the worst. He performed the Apollo. Niggas is booing him. No, they said, yo, he couldn't <laughs> sing. Yo, niggas was shut. Yo, son, the streets is disastrous. I'm going to tell you what was going on. Because you was a little young in China. A lot yeah. of niggas. That's why I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm shutting up. I'm listening. A lot of niggas did bad, China. Niggas was trying to look like I'll be sure with the connecting eyebrows. Niggas was throwing jelly. That's kills in here, China. Niggas. What? Was throwing on speedos and LA gears with lights, with the lights on them LA gears, nigga. I remember those. Those is like ninety, I think ninety two, ninety one, with the lights in the. It was LA nasty. Was. Work. With the with the use, it was clothes called use and damage. That, 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 that. In Japan. Jamaicans, that shout to Jamaicans. That was Brooklyn <laughs> shit. Using damage, using yes, damage. Facts, facts. Jamaican that was, niggas, with son. travel fox. Like, I ain't gonna front. Mama travel love had me wear the travel fox. Yo, with we can't forget about Christopher Williams. Christopher Williams is yo. When we see New Jack City, right? And what? Not New Jack City. Yeah, New Jack City. We're watching this shit. Yo, one inside park. We was outside that park. They played basketball in. That shit was a homeless shelter in a crack spot, nigga. When you walk from 110th Street all the way to the end of that Moorside Park, she going through St. Nick Park and all that. Niggas sleeping in the park. All that shit by City College and all that. Niggas is fucked up. Come on, son. Remember, Puff took that and brought that to hip-hop. 
Back. <laughs> he bought he bought that lifestyle, just like your man Teddy Riley. He bought that lifestyle. We keep getting this shit misconstrued. Niggas is paying attention. Yo, we gotta stay with the streets. And that's what happened. That's how he was able to create whatever the fuck he created. All that shit, that New Jack Swing shit, that shit was some shit of a movie out of Bentley's and a rooftop. That's all that was. Niggas wore yellow suits <laughs> with Jerry curls with sparkling gazelles dancing around. We made gazelles famous, nigga. I ain't gonna niggas make, make gazelles. I ain't yo, 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 Brooklyn yo, niggas yo. go to Harlem and just rob them niggas. Yeah, take their gazelles. Take these, yo, run your sneakers them. and all that. This is yeah, where we at, man. So, so now, that. when we talk about the Puff allegations now, he's been doing this shit since Uptown MTA. From, think about this. A lot of records that we respected that became classics was made in the back of the rooftop, my nigga, the club. Shout out to Unique Metro Audio. He had the really the first new generation. Yeah, salute to Unique Metro Audio. He fucked with 050. Y'all niggas is there. Y'all know. Y'all know when y'all when y'all see this shit. Y'all know that that's the scene that he took. Big Bang Theory. 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 They had a big club called an Ark. Yeah, Flatwood. I remember that shit was popping. That shit was popping. But so it was open around that time. I know the Ark was open. Like I, I think it was, but niggas wasn't going as far as in the early nineties. I'm pretty sure it was. But niggas in Manhattan was not. Niggas in Manhattan wasn't passing Atlantic Avenue. Nigga, that was like the <laughs> turn around. <laughs> That niggas, yo, yo, why Harlem niggas is scared of Brooklyn niggas? Why niggas be scared of us? Because y'all have a confiscation problem. Y'all like to take (laughs) things from niggas that got different type of jackets and different sneakers on. Y'all have a problem with that. I go to your projects to show love to my cousin or something, and my cousin's a nobody nigga in the projects. I'm gonna go walk into a hall with 30 niggas. That's Brownsville niggas. That ain't that ain't all. See, Brownsville (laughs) fucked it up for all (laughs) Brooklyn niggas. Yo, son. Son. Brownsville (laughs) and East New York fucked it up for all Brooklyn niggas. I'm a Crown oh. Heights bad side nigga. We clean, flee. Niggas used to think we <laughs> niggas used to think we from Harlem the way how we stay clean. Now when you go to Brownsville, East New York, it's dark, homie. Dark. Them niggas think about this. Over. Before they had the word dirty blood, you had crimey Brooklyn niggas. Brownsville, East New York. Twitter. Don't get caught on new lots. Don't get caught in the state. Shout out to D-Man from Bama. Little D-Man, that's my man. Um, definitely don't get caught. Definitely don't get caught in pink houses without without an escort. Cypress. Oh no, Boulevard houses in the. Oh. Nah, pink. nah. You know, you know what? Peace. Fuck the projects up. Fuck everything up. Was Albany projects? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Albany was wild. Yeah, Albany was Albany, wild. Albany, that's where blood sport in them niggas. Some yeah. niggas was wilding. Them was with, wild. You know, the G shines back in the yeah, day. So yeah, yeah. They like, and plus, back in the day, that's where the original 50 is from. Albany Project. Albany, Albany Project. So don't know that. Over there, right? mm. Yeah, he used to be around there. Um, I don't know if y'all know about half a mil that past. Yeah, heard about you know, it. Some niggas is blood, some niggas is crypt, some niggas is love. Uh, yeah, niggas man. Is facts. You know, That's niggas, you happen, know, man. New York, you know, and I think, I ain't going to say LG. Go. I don't know if LG was really a crazy project. The style back was getting a lot of money. Remember, the style was like Harlem niggas. That best style shit. The yeah, niggas, that's what I'm saying. Money. They was the, uh, some style niggas, style niggas. Both we live them. in, we live in motherfucking. Listen, if you back in the days, if you get a bitch from the style, you was up because everybody got brownstones. You know what I'm saying? So when niggas used to violate all Brooklyn niggas is filthy, nigga, we be <laughs> nigga. I'm a style nigga, nigga. I be in the style like everybody yeah. got brownstone niggas, moms is doc, doctors, yeah. aunts, and this. niggas has some change. Now, if you go up Atlantic, up Nostrand, you keep going, it get dark. You <laughs> dark. All that? Oh, and hell no. Hell no. Niggas is doing bad. Dalavan, Dalavan, Eastern Dalavan. Parkway, Dalavan and all that. What niggas? Dark. Niggas that rob you. Sneakers, take your sneakers off. That's right. Take everything off. It get dark. Yo, I remember. Don't um, get caught on that three train. Next stop. 
It's hey. Utica Avenue. Stay in class. Hey, close hey, the door. Crazy. Crazy. Insane, man, nigga. And I'm going to be honest with you. The first time I've been to Albany Projects, my man I went to Norman Thomas with, this was 1985, my man Orville, DJ nigga. We went to Albany Projects and he had to get some records for our house party, but he lived on Utica and Bergen across the street from the police station. We I know that, do that. He's telling me, yo, you, you're going to be all right. My cousin live in the building, but you need permission to come in. What the fuck you need permission? I'm from East Harlem, nigga. We don't got no permission. We just come in the building. Like, nah, son. This little, you have to say, son, then you got to be on point. These niggas will book you. You get to the joint, cuz all looking at me like, Brooklyn niggas is always, Brooklyn niggas give you the vibe already. They're looking at you crazy, feel serious. They ready to ask you, yo, who you with? I'm with the nigga. They're like, yo, I'm going to get my records. I said, such and such. I can tell if I was by myself that they would have violated me, but I was with him. And he was somebody that they knew. So, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, boom, I got the pass. But that's the first time I've been to Brooklyn the niggas, we got it. Brooklyn niggas, we got, you know, we raised different than a lot of, lot of niggas. From different boroughs, Brooklyn. Brooklyn is the only, most probably one of the the worst borough to grow up and live in. You know what I'm saying? I'm like being honest. Four, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Brooklyn is 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 they raised us foul, nigga. Like we foul <laughs> motherfuckers from the mother, grandmother, the auntie, the cousins. Everybody is foul in Brooklyn, <laughs> and that's yeah. just the way it is. And I'm not saying only Brooklyn. Like I went to the, the Bronx. Bronx yeah. But the Bronx, only reason, with no disrespect, y'all know I say shit because I'm bugged out, but my shit be true. The only reason I don't like the Bronx, and I will never fuck a Bronx bitch, because a lot of, a lot of Puerto Rican pussy, a lot of... Kings, Nienta, them niggas is gay. So they come home, and a lot of these niggas from the Bronx, why you think the Bronx got the, the worst diseases and all that so when i was in prison i'm like i will never fuck a bronx bitch because all these bronx niggas these spanish niggas in jail these niggas is fucking each other so yeah. and then they come home and fuck you bad bronx bitches yeah you bitches got that thing hell no i'm not sticking my dick in no bronx bitch that's like me saying i never if a bitch walk up to me and say i'm from brownsville I'm going to say, bitch, keep on walking. You crazy as hell. You ain't setting me up. I'm not coming in no Tilden, parking up, free for, I'm not doing none of that, bitch. You can't live in, in Tilden and Suffolo and think I'm going to stand there while you got 50 blood niggas and crip niggas and they whoop my ass. Hell no, I'm not doing none of that. Fuck my vehicles yeah. up. I got some nice vehicles, bitch. Yeah. You ain't fucking my shit up. Yeah, so that's how I thought. That's why I didn't like, I don't like the Bronx. Because the Bronx got mad Puerto Rican people. Yes. Ah, the Boricuas? <laughs> I'm, from, I'm from East Harlem, though, so I'm from with my Boricuas. You know what I'm saying? Let me shout out to the El Barrio. You know what I'm saying? The Puerto Ricans I grew up around, it wasn't on that movie. Nah, you know salute, salute to the somebody. Puerto Ricans. I'm not saying all Puerto Ricans or Latin, but we're going to deal with the facts. I say things that niggas are scared to say. You go to prison, them Puerto Rican niggas will feed the gay people rice and beans, get that gay nigga all thick, and slide right in them. Extra Gleek sauce. You see that all through prison. I'm not saying black people don't do that. Yeah, them niggas get caught. But majority of men in prison who play around with mooks and who take care of mooks is who? It's who? Mira, mira acá, mira acá, mira, acá, mira, acá, mira, acá, mira, acá, mira, acá, mira, yeah, they sniff that motherfucking um chinita, yeah, they sniff the chinita, next thing you know, yo, what happened to Jose last night, yeah, you know that mook Jose be feeding all night, Jose got caught in the bathroom three in the morning with a mook, this is every day in prison, if I'm lying, I'm dying, if I'm lying, I'm dying, in the end, but in the, you know. I, I dare this chat to tell me I'm lying <laughs> if the Puerto Rican people in prison don't be fucking them most. Bendito. They don't. Why you think I don't fuck with Bronx bitches? Because they fuck the Puerto Rican. You know, they want to keep it in the family. They want to fuck Puerto Ricans and all that. Y'all go ahead and fuck them. Them niggas going to give y'all the monster. Them niggas in jail taking dick. And fuck so, so, now, so now so now, I was saying this. Since, since we here now. Since we here. 
Do you think James Cruz was probably a Puerto Rican? Do you think him and Diddy was having sexual relations? You said who? Do you do you believe that James Cruz, who may be a Latin brother, do you believe that him and Diddy was having a sexual relationship? Yeah, he's Latin. I mean, just, a lot of Latin people is fruit balls, not all of them. But when the Latin nigga get desperate and they think a man look like a woman, it's dog. They Latin people is sliding in that immediately, nigga. You you act like you never been to prison. I've been in prison. I've been in prison. So you Wasn't know what crime. they do. So you yeah. know what they do. The Latin the Latin community in prison. They get when a mook come up in there. They bring them right to the to the chick to the where they cooking. Get them niggas beans and rice. Meet up, then I got them. Half of them niggas don't even know English. Then I got you start seeing the, the yeah, they make sure that motherfucking moot get thick. Next thing you know, you hear the alarm. Hey, hey, what the fuck? Everybody <laughs> waking up. They got Poppy in the bathroom, pants down. They got the moot, both of them handcuffed. <laughs> yeah, both of them going to the box. Going to the box. Both of them. <laughs> I got to lie, yo, son. I, both of them going to the box. How many real niggas? How many real niggas How many real niggas seen? How many real niggas been in prison and seen the move? Right? Seen everybody like yo, Poppy fucking that move? Yeah, yeah. Niggas don't want to say it because Poppy cool. Poppy know how to cook the. You know what I'm saying? The moot getting thick. Poppy making sure that moot get thick in the legs. Next thing you know, three, four in the morning, the police at the bubble, he turned on all the lights. All the lights come on. Boom. Poppy come running out the bathroom, pants down, moot behind him. Get on the wall. They got Poppy. Poppy pants down. Baby, I love her. I love no. her. Oh. Poppy, you wildin'. You wildin' on the alley. Crazy. Facts. This happened multiple times. So that's why I'm not... If y'all want to, y'all could go to Mount, whatever the fuck in the Bronx and fuck them. Go ahead, fuck them Latin bitches if you want. Fuck them. I'm oh. not. Oh. It's crazy. I, 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 you know, you know, you got me stuttering right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm flabbergasted. But I, this is some weird shit. You're right. The is, we seen when Pepsi would come through. Ooh, and, and, and niggas, niggas are going. Yo, it's like a celebration. Pepsi come through or try to send it come through the building. Look, and, they said that's why they call her Sean Poppy. Somebody uh, said that's why they call her Sean Poppy. Oh, man. <laughs> shout out to Hasi, man. Just, shout out to Hasi, man. Uh, shout out to Hasi. I'll just speak the truth. If there was black people, a lot of black people, I'll say it too. A lot. Now, do black people... See, black people is more discreet. You won't know a black person was fucking with the move probably 20 years from now. <laughs> you mad facts. Latin people, Latin people, they don't care. Beans and rice, get them thick. Extra Gleek sauce. They, they right in front of anybody. They don't care. Him in the mood going to the box. Hold on, hold on, hold on, God. Yo, son. Come on. Come on. Hold make, on. make sure you bring Pepsi. Me and Pepsi want to be double bump. Double, double bump. <laughs> now, now, jail words. Like, like you gotta keep in mind, we got a guy named Diddy who's getting all his money. He wanna run, he wanna run around like he a jail, a jail individual. He wanna wear do rags, he wanna walk around with 20 grease on him, and he wanna keep one or two good Latins around him. They be switching, you know, it's weird. Pop, pop, Diddy, you dirty nigga, you a dirty nigga. But yo, 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 this is this is this is disgraceful, dishonorable. But one thing I ain't gonna say though, right? I can honestly say that you do see some weird shit in the dorm. I ain't gonna lie to you. You put your head up, you see the dirty bloods in the corner, you see the two, three God body, four, five Muslims, three Protestants, and you see a group of Latinos, you don't know who's who, the who's who or who's what, and they're sharing rice, beans, sasson, sasson and everything. And, and who's and, and, over there with them? And who's over there with them? Yeah, who's Pepsi, over there with them? Pepsi over there. Pepsi cooking. Yeah, Pepsi you know, you right, son? Pepsi cooking. Pepsi, she Pepsi, Pepsi like this. Pepsi like this. Oh. Yeah, what we eating? I know y'all got some banquet chicken. Yeah, yeah. Pepsi, yeah. Pepsi gonna get that banquet chicken. Poppy, Poppy with the commissary. Poppy done Crazy. buff everybody cubes. Poppy, yeah, you know Poppy got the house. Yeah, yeah. Poppy yeah, clean everybody cubes. He make up everybody bed. 
Poppy sniff up all the chinita. He go to commissary lits. Now he got now he got Pepsi on the house with him. Oh, it's Pepsi. lit. <laughs> yeah. Is it even four three in the Pepsi's... morning? The lights is coming on. <laughs> Boom! Anybody had peeking out the motherfucking queue. What the fuck going on? You see Poppy handcuffed. They got Poppy on handcuff, him and Pepsi. Yeah. He's crying, pants <laughs> on the floor. Pepsi Crazy. got extra gleek sauce on her mouth. Oh man. Bendito. I'm gonna be honest, Bendito. And, and I'm gonna be honest with you, man. It's, it's it's to the point now where a lot of this, these conversations are needed because a lot of you females are messing with these jail guys that come home from jail and they were spending the yard with Pepsi. And now they come on home and they give you all these weird diseases because Pepsi have been to eight spots. So you don't know what, you know what I'm saying? Try to set them in the two good spots. You know what I'm saying? Like, like there, there's, I got fun. As crazy as this sounds. He you know said, I saying? am innocent. Take that. Take that. We got, we got, <laughs> we got Diddy in the building. <laughs> we got Diddy in the building. <laughs> take that. Take that. Take that. You know what I'm saying? Take that. Take that. I'm going to be honest with you, man. Um, it's it's crazy because this behavior, and we're touching on this behavior because I guys like just, just just like Wendy Williams, she lost her job because if she touched on the behavior, people use their powers to keep her silent. And at that time, we didn't have the internet, but it, what American Online? I don't, think, I don't think American Online was up and running yet. So he was, they was able to snatch her away. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and get fired. You know what I'm saying? But 20 years later, for a girl named Cassie who sat at every concert shot. Now, what singer, R&B singer, you would see in the public and be shot? Who? Who would you fact. see? You are an R&B singer. You perform on stage, but in the public, you're, you're shy on this. Yo, your man is throwing his talk. He's on the tour, but this is Puffy's tour. Why are you sitting around in the corner shy and your head down and bashful and you're not? And, and, and there's a reason for that. You're running around with, 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 with you know what I'm saying? There's a reason for, for these behaviors. And, and, and I'm going to be honest with you, the individual that was on this tour got to see that firsthand. Like, yo, uh, how about Cassie? Man, Cassie, it seemed weird. Like, she, like, she was shy. So she wasn't scared to talk to nobody. It was just, who was Puff Willie with? Who was Puff Willie spending his time with? She was just there. That's a fact. And James Cruz was in the building. And, 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 to, and to some allegations, it was him. French, French Kardashian and another individual, they went into a shower area in Dallas. I bet you French, you watching this shit going, who told you this shit? They kept it for the press. But I would love for you to say that she was sniffing coke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That, that's what we want you to say. We went in there, we sniffed some lines, we came out. <laughs> but you had some dudes that assumed that she was doing the, the wild thing. Y'all was doing the wild thing, my nigga. Tone low the wild thing, my nigga. It's a disgrace. That's you know what I'm saying? So I would say, y'all get them likes up, man. Get them likes up. Um, we definitely made move the crowd. We got some some information from somebody who's on the tour. I'm gonna keep them anonymous, but if you're paying attention, you're paying attention. The people that on the tour know what I'm talking about. That's watching. Going, oh shit! How does Zeke know that? I even mentioned something that nobody really talked about in the public with the Kuda Love situation at the garden. So I had to give you a piece of something. So I had to be somebody that was physically there, right? Fact. Shout out to Kuda. You know what I'm saying? Now Mace was on the tour, so I so. If Kuda and Mace bump heads and they were shaking in the locker room at that time, why? Over who? Diddy? Puff? Lox? Was y'all fighting for Puff? Don't tell me that Lox, yo, was shaking with Kuda over some Puff shit. That's, that's and this is, this is what I mean. Tasteless acts. Dishonorable acts. Y'all need Puff Dan, y'all to say something. Why don't y'all say something? But I forgot you're going that's to the That's what they be asking for, for the... For the uh for our idols, idols, you know, y'all, y'all big, say something. Say something. Like I said, uh, I take that back on Gilly. Gilly did exactly. say something. He said something before we even thought about saying something. So salute to Gilly. Yes. And um, um yeah. I respect that, man. That's real shit. We respect that. The rest of y'all say something, man. We know y'all watching. With that, yes. yo, I'm gonna have to get up off of y'all. Already yes, know where yes. I'm at. Zeke, we had a great normal, show. Who today is. Friday, we got to do a it. real live. We got to do, you know what I'm saying? I got in the studio. Shit. In the studio. In the you know studio. what I'm saying? Salute to everybody. Y'all have a great day, a safe day. Y'all already know who I'm with the movement. Ziki Black. We might, we might pull back. I might pull back later on. 
Yo, Cola James, salute to Cola James. Shout out to East. Everybody. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Know. Salute to Wifey, Southern Bell, St. Louis. You know what I'm saying? Southern it's a, Bell, St. Louis. It's cool dog, her son, the Rucker family, the Hill family. But that being said, peace. And everything is Gleco. Y'all already yeah. know. Yeah.